Succession planning is pivotal to any organization's progress. From your perspective, how should CFOs think about succession and what are the leadership attributes needed for CFOs in the future? Succession planning is definitely a very important part of an organization long-term plan. Um, I've always embraced it personally. In my previous company, I had a deputy CFO whom I trained for a number of years. And when the time came and I felt that I wanted to take a step back from work for a little while, she was ready and I could easily and happily recommend that she step into my shoes and walk away for a break without feeling guilty about it. And at the same time, um, she's she stepped up to the role fantastically well. Five years later, she's still on that job um, at Interplex Holdings. At Raffles, we also believe in succession planning. We provide training programs for um, our staff across functions, um, predominantly through our management training program. We have a scholarship program where we take in um, students. Uh, we sponsor students through the tertiary education not just medical school, but also other functions such as accounting, finance, or legal and management trainee. Um, these people will come through and then we will put them through a roster of departments and divisions. And hopefully um, among these cohorts, we eventually find some future talents that will take us for the next generation. It's great to hear that Raffles Medical has a comprehensive uh, succession planning program. The same can be said for many organizations. Uh, from my observation, there are a lot of organizations that basically leave it to too late or it's just something that they don't think about. So they are very reactive when a senior departure happens. Um, and that can pose a problem in terms of business continuity. What we recommend is for organizations to identify high potentials early, give them stretch assignments. It could be planting them into operations, strategy, uh, commercial departments, so that they can get a more comprehensive view of how the organization works and to build rapport with the teams um, that are running different functions in the organization so that when they come back to the finance function, they are more well-rounded and have different skill sets to bring to the table. This will increase your talent pool in terms of succession planning. Understanding of an organization and how it works from all perspectives is always important for a senior management role because you can never make a decision best for the organization solely from your own function perspective because a decision impacts multiple divisions. So therefore, we always take a holistic view. I mean, I certainly do that. Although I have not come through the multiple divisions, but I've always taken an active part in understanding business and operational requirements when I make a decision and try and put myself into the other party's shoes. Because at the end of the day, my view is that, yes, it's nice to have control, but you cannot have control to the extent that business cannot move. So therefore, you have enough control to have satisfy your corporate governance and to ensure that things doesn't go wrong. But also allow enough flexibility at the same time for the business to grow. Otherwise, you know, too much control just cannot. And that sadly is a tendency we finance people to over control and not think of the impact to the wider organization and how it impacts decision making processes or slow down uh, responses even to customers, for example. Yeah, I remember you shared with me once, uh, Sheila, previously, the natural tendency for finance executive is to say no yes. because of governance, <laughs> because of yes. uh, reporting requirements. But um, as a business partner, as a CFO, I think we are encouraging uh, CFOs to be responding in a way like, let's explore more options. Let's think about the solution together. Yes, how to best meet the control requirement without killing the business, basically. I mean, I'm not saying that we should break the law. I mean, definitely there's no goal or ethics for that matter, but there is always more than one way to skin the cat for one of a better word. <laughs> but at the end of the day, right, two heads are always better than one. So it's never just my solution. But if I tell them what I'm trying to achieve and they tell me what they're trying to achieve, hopefully we will achieve a common goal that allows us to move forward.